a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and his companions set sail from Paphos and came to Perga and Pamphylia. John, however, left them and returned to Jerusalem. But they went on from Perga and came to Antioch in Pisidia. And on the Sabbath day they went into the synagogue and sat down. After the reading of the Law and the Prophets, the officials of the synagogue sent them a message, saying, Brothers, if you have any word of exhortation for the people, give it. So Paul stood up and with a gesture began to speak. You Israelites, and others who fear God, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our ancestors and made the people great during their stay in the land of Egypt. And with uplifted arm he led them out of it. For about forty years he put up with them in the desert. After he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance for about 450 years. After that he gave them judges until the time of the prophet Samuel. Then they asked for a king. And God gave them Saul son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, who reigned for 40 years. When he had removed him, he made David their king. In his testimony about him he said, I have found David, son of Jesse, to be a man after my heart, who will carry out all my wishes. Of this man's posterity God has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus, as he promised. Before his coming John had already proclaimed a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was finishing his work, he said, what do you suppose that I am? I am not he. No. But one is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of the sandals on his feet. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Apostle John. Jesus said, Truly, I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I am not speaking of all of you. I know whom I have chosen. But it is to fulfill the scripture. The one who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. I tell you this now, beforehand, so that when it happens you may believe that I am He. Very truly, I tell you, whoever receives one whom I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 